Now this microphone is quite sensitive, so the further away from your mouth it is, the less and less I can hear you. Okay. So you want to make sure it's nice and close to your lips. Can yep, you hear me? I can hear you perfect. Okay, controls are full and free. Choke is off, giving us full power. My harness and hatch are secure, your harness and hatch are secure. Instruments, airspeed, vertical speed and altimeter are set for departure. RPM gauge is working, we're on the right frequency, transponder is on, temperatures and pressures are all good, quick dead cut on the mags, mags are working, fuel sufficient for the flight, flaps are set, trim the aircraft ready for takeoff, takeoff weight, you class as half a person, are you, okay? you class as half a person when we refer to as weight, are you okay with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most women are. <laughs> I was going to taxi ourselves down to the other end of the runway. You have a wave? Okay, wind is in with inlets. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit bumpy as we get close to the uh, as we're close to the ground. As we climb um, through that friction layer, it should start to smooth down. There is going to be an element of bumping around. Uh, it's all part of the fun. It all part of the fun. That's right. That's the downside of being in a light aircraft. So do you fly the flex wing as well? I do. Yeah. 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 I still want to do that. Oh, you should do. It's yeah. absolutely awesome. It's just a uh, little bit too windy for the yeah. uh, for the for the flex wind today. Um, not so much with the crosswind because obviously the wind's down the strip. But if you uh, take off and the wind's stronger than you go forwards, you go backwards. <laughs> nice. The higher we go, the stronger the winds. You see, yeah. this aircraft uh, has a lot more uh, bigger, a wider weather window for us to play with. So how high do we get? Um, we're going to vary. Um, a good safety height for us is going to be above 1,500 feet. We can fly up to 5,500 feet before we're in airspace. Right. Uh, so that's just over a mile high. Yeah. Uh, we run out of oxygen around about 10,000 feet, so we <laughs> won't be going that high. No. And really, we fly safe, so we, you know, it's uh, we aren't going to fly through a cloud, but we might go up and have a look at some of the clouds whilst we're up there. Yeah. Um, so really, if the cloud base is too thick, then you can't get through it. So that can also be a limiting factor. Darling, one traffic. Golf Tango Zulu holding runway one nine forty five. Okay, now we're down this end. Just going to go through a few uh, pre-flight checks, making sure everything's okay. Trim is set for takeoff, temperatures and pressures are good, we're all set. Hawks pump is on, landing light is on. Okay, I'm good to go, you're good to go? Good to go. Dial more traffic, Golf Tango Zulu landing up runway 19. So we're off on the brakes to start us moving. Here 
is our runway. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, go for it. So we're going straight through to full power. Aircraft goes light. And we take off. Get some airspeed. And the aircraft climbs away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good one. First safety height so we can ease the power back. Second safety height, we can lose the flaps. Nose comes down. We can increase our airspeed. Now, look out directly ahead. Have you picked some spot to look at? Okay, here we go. I must love this. <laughs> it's a job. I've had worse jobs. This is my reward. How are you feeling? All right? Yeah, yeah, loving it. If you can look back now, you can see our airfield where we took off from. Oh, yeah. Looks tiny now, doesn't it? Does. It? Little specks of people. We're just over a thousand feet above the ground. Is that, um, that's not Carsington, is it? It is it Carsington, is? yeah. Wow. Well done. That's where we're, uh, we'll tootle off over in that direction. Darling more traffic, Old Tango Zulu is climbing through 1900 feet, uh, departing to the north of Carsington. That's it, we're airborne. We're now 2,000 feet. It's smoothed down quite considerably so we can ease the power down. There's Ashbourne just on, the, on your side. Yeah. Is that the way you came in? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing that such a small town can have so much traffic. Yeah. <laughs> What's the furthest you go? The long, the time-wise, the longest trip. The longest flight we'll do is around about an hour. Yeah. Uh, we do also sell uh, some of our cross-country flights, so we'll take off and go to another airfield. All oh, right. Have a bacon butty and fly back. Brilliant. They're, they're good fun. Yeah. It's a good way of, uh, of seeing the country, you know. We'll, we'll take off from here and do a nice big loop and head over towards sort of Shropshire, or we'll head over to the other side of Mansfield and, and uh, you know, sort of Chesterfield and that, that sort of way. But one of these things with the with the fuel capacity and, and fuel burn on this thing, it's uh, a great little touring aircraft. Yeah. So me and another instructor flew down to a, an airfield called Popham, which is... Uh, right by the Isle of Wight. So we took off from here, an hour and a half later, we're in the Isle of Wight. We had a bacon butty and a sandwich and a, and a brew, and then we flew back. Wow. One tank of fuel. Great way to spend a day. Yeah, it was good. Also, uh, taking off from, from here, and we flew all the way over to Wales, crossed over the Bristol Channel, and went down to uh, Newquay. Yeah. That was quite a long trip. That was about two and a half hours, but... Yeah, good fun. The beauty with these is you can get yourself up even just for a flight for, you know, sort of 20 minutes, half yeah. an hour, and have a really good time. It gets quite addictive, though, so I, I bet. Want, uh, <laughs> Well, when I had the call from, was it Jude? Judy, yeah. Yeah, this morning. Um, the thought of not going up today made me think, <laughs> I'll, well, I'll just go for this anyway, and yeah. then I can always... Because this was given to me as a present right, for okay. my birthday. Um... But if I like it, and I know I knew I would, uh, <laughs> then I, I can get the other one as well, just yeah, to yeah. purchase that myself. So. 
The flex wing is a completely different experience. Although you're still in the same air, yeah, um, and you, you know you'll probably see very similar sort of things. It's a completely different experience. Mm. This is a lot like flying a sports car. You know, yeah. it's very controllable. You can put it exactly where you want it to. You can really throw it around. Whereas the flex wing's a lot like being on a motorbike. <laughs> you know, and it's just completely different. Yeah, good fun. Well, is it more exhilarating or...? Uh, it's different. I it's mean, different. I, I fly pretty much everything that we've got there and I, and I get a different thrill uh, from each, yeah. each thing. Uh, and certainly when I'm doing personal flying, when I'm doing my, my flying for enjoyment, yeah. um, you know, I'll, I'll fly, I'll be in the mood to fly one thing as opposed to another, you know. And it's just to the air, like air pockets, isn't it? That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah, you see the, yeah. the sun shining, heating up the uh, the grass. Yeah. Uh, releases all the moisture, and that so that moisture rising air is what gives us a, a, a lump. Now they can be as big as a, a bubble, as big as a field, or they can be a great big column as big as a county. Wow. You know, it's it's uh, just depends on on the uh, on the weather really. There's Carsington water. I love seeing Carsington water from altitude. It's a totally different shape, isn't it, <laughs> when you, than yeah. what you think it is. And you can see the valley, uh, how before it was flooded. See how it's just dropping away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really deep. gorgeous aren't they? Yeah. yeah I bought my husband um, a, f a flying lesson um, yeah. for his birthday a couple of years ago um, and he loved it and I said my turn next. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not necessarily it didn't have to be a flying lesson but um, just want you to go all. Yeah. So I've got this, I've got a Segway ride and I've got a balloon ride all this month. Wow. All, all birthday presents. <laughs> yeah. Are you one of those that's got to go out and do things? No, I turned 50 at Christmas last year, so you this joking? is a 50 things at 50 challenge that I've got for myself. So. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. I love that. So they have to fall into one of four categories, either something that's new, yeah. something that's a challenge, mm -hmm. um, something that is a trip down memory lane, um, so I'm doing lots of things going back to my past and yeah, yeah, places yeah. where I used to grow up, um, and the other one is just doing some me time, just make sure I have a good work-life balance really. Yeah, yeah. I love that, that's a great idea. And there's Matlock just there on our left hand side. Ah. Just see it in the valley, see the castle on top of the hill? Nope. In the wrong you see place. the valley that's there? Yeah. On the right hand side of the valley, the sun's just oh, shining. Oh, yes, on yes, the I can see it, yeah. Right, you see that flat field with like two tones, like yeah, big yeah. square? I think that's where we live, just the other side of that, because we live right above Matlock. Um, just next to Beely Moor, which is just further across. That's actually classed as Darley Moor, believe it or not, but you won't see it on any maps. Oh, right, Darley Moor or Darley... Darley, Darley Moor, yeah. Are you joking? Our address is Darley Moor, but people think it's where... We yeah, are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no actually place called Darley Moor there. It's just the airfield, no. Darley Moor airfield. A lot of people make the mistake of go to Darley Dale, which is again nowhere near. Yeah. I didn't know that existed. That must be some kind of quarry, is it? Yeah, obviously Matlock was just riddled with quarries. Is that Cr that's Cromford then? Yeah. Amazing. I'm just gonna zigzag so I can get the uh, matlock on the uh, on the camera for you.
getting my bearings, I think we're probably further over that way <laughs> right. where we live, yeah. I was, uh, I was just pushing it to see if we could get there. Yeah. Have you got your bearings yet? Sorry? Have you got your bearings yet? Um, pretty much, yeah. We're, um, we're kind of four miles darkly northeast of right. Matlock itself, so we're over there somewhere. Yeah. But you don't have to go that far if you can't. Yeah, we'd still get there and back again. Yeah, that's in fine. Time. Fair enough. It's just great seeing Matlock, actually. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. You see, I realise how many houses are built out of the local stone. Yeah. I still can't get over how busy Mat uh, Matlock Bath gets. It's so sought after. It's called a Kingdom oh, yeah. just over there. Are we going to get you do some flying? Sorry? Are we going to get you do some flying? Oh, am I allowed? <laughs> of course you are. All I want you to do is grab onto this foam bit that's there. And the first thing I want you to do is just get used to how that aircraft feels without us doing anything. Yeah. See the horizon over there? Yeah. And all I want you to do is manage the horizon. So when the aircraft moves like that, bring the nose back up again. That's it. And release. If the aircraft goes like this, we roll it back to the left. So all we're doing is managing the horizon. See how we're doing that. That's it. And back to neutral. So whenever you do a movement, you want to be back to centre. So we can minimise the, uh, the effects on the control. That's it. It, it is very responsive. Minimal inputs, that's all you need. You see the uh, the windmills that are just here on our right-hand side? Ooh. The four wind, uh, wind towers? Yeah. Okay, let's do a right-hand turn. And we'll put them on your side. So you can get used to uh, turning the aircraft. That's it. Roll the wings level there for me. That's it. A bit more. Look at your horizon. Make it nice and level. That's it. Oops. or is it the air pocket? It's just, yeah, it's just the environment yeah. bouncing us around. It's quite a uh, quite a blustery day today. Combine that with some of the thermals as well makes it quite interesting. Good fun. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bringing us up to the clouds. I'm going to stick our head up above the clouds, see what's going on. Sorry? We're just going to stick our head up above the clouds, see what's going on. You want me to? Yeah, yeah. So bring the stick back. Oh. Yeah, you, know, you have control. Bring the stick back. Increase the power. Aircraft's uh, going to start climbing. Bring the nose up. Well, that's it. Is that the right amount? 
Yeah, that's good. You can do a little bit more if you like. That's it. Now we're all right. Now have a look over there. I'll take over just okay. temporarily. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mm. sitting on a shelf, isn't it? They're, it they're is. kind of flat. Yeah, well, that's a temperature difference. Yeah. You'll notice that the air it should go on a little bit cooler now. Yeah, definitely notice the temperature change. Look at that. Up in the clouds. Wow. So that if there's more than one of you up here, then you go different directions. Um, yes, but there's also a lot of other airfields about. So yeah. a lot of the times we use Mark One Eyeball so that we uh, don't fly into anybody. The other yeah. thing that we also use, obviously, we've got a transponder here which transmits our altitude, our location, and height. Yeah. We have at the front there what's called a PCAS, and that that transmits and that receives. Right. So is there some kind of warning if you're close to someone else? Yeah. It's like you're doing a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, time to come down. Ready for some negative G? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, positive G. Ooh. They're a roller coaster ride. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to fly us back? <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, you have control. Can you see the uh, industrial estate that's just in front of us there? The what, sorry? There's an industrial estate right in front yeah. of us there. Just head towards that for me. Mm -hmm. Am I heading down or what? Yeah, I'll, I'll control height, you yeah. control direction.
Okay, you want to bring the nose up and we'll level off. That's it, bring the nose up a bit more. That's it, I'll try to get rid of some of that pressure. Does that feel better? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> ah, it's looking good to me. So we're just trying to keep the That's nose it. with the level with the horizon. That's it. Keep the uh, the horizon level and pointing towards the direction we want to go. Just how do I get it more that way? Okay. So roll the aircraft left and then roll the aircraft right. Is that better? Yeah. Now, try not to line the nose up with where it is that you're going. Try. I, you, I think, are you trying to line, line the nose up with the... Um, yeah. Because for me, I'm pointing that way. Use the cowling. See the air vents? Yeah. Use the air vents. Imagine you're aiming down the rifle. All right. Okay. Because the nose is tapered. It points in that way. Yeah. You're doing all right. <laughs> How do you think you're doing? I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going the right way. Now, can you see our airfield is directly in front of us? It's like a flat green area. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's where we're ultimately heading. That's our destination. I'm just going to speed the aircraft up a little bit more. That's it. Roll your wings level there for me. That's it. Darling, more traffic. Gold Tango Zulu approaching from the northeast for a standard over a joint runway one line. Uh, copy the industrial estate. pull back on the stick too much. Sorry? Try not to pull back on the stick too much and allow the... That's it. So now the nose is coming down, the aircraft's going to speed up. Is that good? That's good, yeah. If we fly too slow, we drop out the sky. Mm. If we drive too fast, then the wings come off. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it. Now, can you just see the golf course just over here on our right-hand side? Yeah. So when we just clear the uh, this industrial estate beneath us, we'll do a gentle right-hand turn and head over in that way. And that should put me right on the runway. You're doing really well. Thank you. There's been no screaming or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that me? No, it's okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You're sneaking the aircraft over for me, perfect. You see all I'm trying to do now is bring us further this way so yeah. that we can uh, line up on the runway. 
Solid more traffic. Golf Tango Zulu's joining long final runway one nine. Do you want to do any more turn and all? No, just, that's good. Just, just leave that exactly leave it, there. Yeah. The wind's blowing this direction, so oh, it's right. pushing us that way. Yeah. Okay, I'll take control from here. Ah, you've got a bit of a sweaty hand there. <laughs> and now all I'm going to do is set us up so that we can hopefully land on that runway. What do you think? Yeah. And we'll make it from here? <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm. So we're a little bit high, so I'm going to lose a little bit of height. The easiest way to do this is to come down sideways. You're doing a combination of things there, aren't you? I am, yeah. yeah. So I'm kicking the rudder around to, to ask it to go uh, right, and I'm rolling the wings to ask them go left. So, cross controls. Yeah. Keeping the nose down to maintain airspeed. It's uh, a bit of a challenge. First stage of flaps in there, just to uh, slow the aircraft down. Now, if I'm not happy with this at all in any way, we'll go straight through to full power, and we'll come back around and okay. have, a, have another go. Stage of flaps, feel the brakes come on. better than that could we? A little bit of a crosswind come through, so we'll just set up for a crosswind landing. A few little bobbles could defend end with. And now just bringing the nose up, try not land it like a Ryanair pilot. Mm. 